All right, guys, welcome back. We are fishing. Some of the ponds I grew up fishing, we were fishing Sycamore Island. Right now it is 11 o'clock. We got about three hours to burn. So came out to check the ponds and man, the water is crazy high here. You know, I've never really seen the water this high. Yeah, that river is really pumping out there. Water here on the ponds are really high too, which is nice. You know, pretty sure they got a really good spawn. Fishing is tough, so maybe I look to catch one fish. I mean, I see a bunch of little bucks cruising around, but we're gonna still gonna go out there and try to catch one or two fish in the day with that, right? But I'm just gonna walk the banks today, no kayak, just quick little session for you guys. So stay tuned. I didn't take it home. <laughs> I just got one. A little guy. <laughs> uh, we got one on the first cast. It wasn't a big one, but we did. Get, the, get rid of the skunk. You know, I just barely stepped out of the car and got my rod. And first cast down, I caught one. Nice little 12, 13 incher. But I'm staying a little higher up and trying to go walk down to the bank and spook these fish. Just fishing a little higher up and casting down there. Just fishing a little 4 inch Gary Yamamoto Cinco, wacky rigged. Saw a little buck right there. Oh, he came and got it. And I saw that buck just on the surface right there. Threw it over there. And he disappeared. That's two cats, two fish. <laughs> That's pretty good for Sycamore Island. You know, you know Sycamore Island is usually pretty tough fishing, but I'm pretty surprised myself. Hopefully, I won't lose so many sinkles with this. Another little buck. Come on now. So that's three pretty quick right there. It's actually pretty surprising. Oh, I have one right there. What?
you know, go with a four inch Cinco just to be a little more finesse because everybody comes out here and throws a five inch Cinco. I figured a four inch Cinco would give me a lot more bites. There's one right there. It's right on that patch of leaves. It's a little one. Oh, it came off. <laughs> that one is a fry garter. Seems like a lot of these fish are just fry garters now. Oh, she almost took She hit it there, but didn't get no hooks. Whoa, shoot. <laughs> almost had her that time. And she came to grab the hooks. Came and grabbed it. The backers got her. <laughs> Dang it. Not illegal catch, guys. Little fry garter. You guys have any luck? Just Bass or trout? Oh, trout. Trout? You guys trout fishing? Yeah. That's cool. It's a pretty good size one. Or? Uh, yeah, that was a pretty good size. That big. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's get any size on. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, man. <laughs> thought I saw something there. That's probably the best one today. <clears throat> and I was pitching over there and I saw some movement right here. And I pitched it and I seen that fish come up and grabbed it. Not a bad one at all. It's probably Guarding fries, I'm not too sure, but I didn't see any fries. Well, I do see fries. Okay, she's guarding fries. Better get her back in there. I didn't see those fries until just right now. Little, little tiny fellas.
Oh, here she comes. She's gonna hit it. Oh my gosh. Good one. She actually had the hooks that time. Oh, that female doesn't like this thing around. Oh, she bit it. She's gonna go anytime now. Oh gosh, she's biting it. Come on, carry the thing off. Oh, she's mouthing it. Uh, I caught a few small ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, she choked. The little one choked it. I got her. It's a solid one. Right in the mouth too, guys. She kept biting at it, but finally she grabbed the hooks. You guys can see. Huh, that's a good one. The male kept touching at it, kept choking the head, and uh, he couldn't protect the nest, so she came out closer and closer and closer, and she got closer and just locked on. But, alright guys, pretty good fish for Sycamore Island. Alright guys, that's a good fish. The male's still down there, so I'm gonna put her back. They're not on beds, but they're uh, it seems like they're guarding fries because let's put her back. We'll talk more about it. But so there's a buck that keeps coming back and forth to the to the bank. So I'm guessing they're guarding some really young fries and. Uh, he was very protective, you know, he grabbed the whole swim bait and had the entire hooks too, but then I sat on it. He swam off with it and dropped it. Kept doing it over and over again. The female got really annoyed. She came closer and closer and closer and then eventually she just commit to it. You know, she had the bait, but I wasn't sure she had the hooks. So once I saw her grab the bait and I saw her trying to shake the hooks off, that's when I set the hook. But Pretty sure I catch his buck now. Oh. Yep, now he's really nipping at it, so shouldn't be long. So, see that in the mouth? Yeah, one on the bottom, one on top. Thanks.
the mail. Hit that. Charge right at it. <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> Ooh, headshot of it. Oh, she's gonna commit now. What? Thanks. Right at the top. I had to wait until he grabbed it on top. Nice little male. Good luck, man. No, it's not. Okay, see, I was about to tell you. Well, I have at least a, a three and a six pounder, and, a, and some uh, other bigger little ones are all along in this corner over here. Really? Yeah. So if, I was just wondering if you could just tell me. I mean, Let me the see. right kind of to be doing. Let me see. Um, how, how, how many pound test is on your line? I oh yeah, yeah, pretty good. I, you got about maybe ten or twelve pound. Uh, oh, let, me, let me set you up. Usually I just catfish. I was like, man. Because they're following this thing, but they're not doing nothing to it. So I'm like, I don't understand. Yeah, it's it's not uh, it's not what's ideal for right now. Let me see. Ah. Let me see. That's that's not what I be throwing out right now. Um, cause that that just gets too much snags, man. Okay. I'd fish a weightless cinco or I'd fish a um a Texas rig. I think um I think you're gonna be a lot more weightless with a. The Texas rig. Let me set you up real quick. Uh, this time of year, this time of year, uh, singles are probably going to be what's going to get you a lot more bites. That's where I caught most of my fish on is on single. Let me rig it up for you. See, that'd be tight. You know, they come like that. You buy them. Right. 
So when you when you're going for bass this time of year, all you need is a pack of Cinco's. This is a Gary Yamamoto Cinco, five inch. Any color will work. This is a watermelon red magic, but any color will work. And um, let me see your line. So basically, how you rig this is is very weightless. So just tie your knot, right? Just whatever knot you feel comfortable with. And then for your worm, you know how to do this? Hmm. No? no, okay. I usually just buy them like this. Okay, so so you get so these are sinkos, right? Stick baits, so they're just a worm like that, All right? So how you do is you what you would do is you you go down maybe half a quarter inch or half an inch like that right push it all the way up like that and see how it's gonna be like that right yeah so you want to have it like this and you just bring it up like that so then you, you have it like that and then what you would do is you just tuck this away like that right put it up like that that way it doesn't get snagged mm. but when you get a bite and you set the hook it's gonna pop off and then you hook the fish. Here, go ahead, give it a try. Yeah. Wait. Sweet. All right, so. Yep. There we go. So you wanna push it all the way up? Oh, all the way? Yeah, all the way. Yeah, there we go. Keep, keep pushing it all the way until it's. There we go, like that. See? Right. And I can help you all oh, with pointers and whatever. This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, that's if you need more, just let me know. I got. Well, I have you now, so I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. In. What's your name? Think, uh, Brett, man. Brett. Brett. Yeah. Brett. Well, you'll see me. Hey, off. nice to meet you. it for sycamore island we caught the tail end of the spawn i didn't see any beds really you know no beds but i saw a lot of fry it was really nice so, and it looked like it was a really nice and healthy spawn you know, we caught some fry garters you know i did notice when i did release those fish they did go back to guarding those fries almost immediately which is really nice so uh, hopefully that doesn't harm the fishery a bit but uh, we caught some uh, we caught two decent ones and we caught one really good one we actually ended up getting her on the glide um, you know this time of year you know you got fry garters you know that glide is, uh, is a pretty good option but um, a lot of times you're gonna catch these fish and they're not gonna be legal catches because they're such a big glide bait uh, you're not gonna get those troubles in the mouth uh, they'll be on the, they'll be like under the chin or they'll be like on the side of the face they do commit and bite it but hard to get that hook in their mouth. Fortunately, we had two good fish and uh, they were both in the mouth. Uh, one was right in the chin. And uh, yeah, it's, it's how it goes, right? That big one was a legal catch. I did wait until she grabbed the entire bait and then I uh, waited until she had the actual hooks and that's when I set the hook and got her. Right after I caught her, I, I ended up catching the buck. She didn't come back for a while, but the, when I released the buck, he went right back and guarded the fries. Uh, no bed, but there was a, a patch of grass that I, I, I want to say the, the the fry were in. But yeah, pretty good fishing overall. We caught quite a bit of fish for Second Wild Island. Usually it's pretty uh, pressured. You know, we had a good time. We caught fish. Uh, pretty good run for a short time. And uh, you know, of course, we caught all our fish on a four inch uh, Gary Yamamoto Cinco. Uh, a, a little bit different from what everybody else is throwing. Everybody's usually throwing a five inch, so I'm going with a four inch, a little bit more compact bait. And I pitch it in. As soon as I see it, they bite it. Uh, a lot of these are just small little bugs, but uh, nevertheless, still very fun to catch. That's going to be it for this bank session, guys. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.